President William Ruto has said that the government is keen on expanding the composition of the Nairobi Securities Exchange, projecting that 10 more parastatals would join the NSC in the next 12 months. Ruto added that the listing would present an opportunity for more Kenyans to hold shares and improve their economic well-being. Faisal Ahmed has more on this story. As I said earlier, we have a... The announcement to have state-owned firms join the NSC is expected to attract more investors to the bows, which has had no key investments in over five years. This NSC, I look forward to many Kenyans having the opportunity to buy, to sell, and to grow their wealth using the Nairobi Exchange. I look forward, for example, to that border border guy when waiting for the next customer he is trading on his phone the president further stating that the listing of 10 institutions will happen within the next one year tasking the privatization commission and the ministry of trade and investment to relook at the laws governing privatization and if they're not favorable for them to replace them with more accommodative laws between five and ten public enterprises that are mature should be listed in the next 12 months. I expect that the private sector will work with the capital markets so that we can also have companies from the private sector listing in the Nairobi Stock Exchange. Ladies and gentlemen. The president was speaking during the bell ringing ceremony to launch the enhanced Nairobi Stock Exchange marketplace. Ruto explained that the addition of public companies into the stock exchange market will democratize wealth and allow members of the public to have a share of its returns. He also promised that the government would aid all private companies that would want to list at the bows, bypass all bureaucratic red tape. I want to promise the private sector companies, whatever tax issues may arise, as government, we are willing to work with you so that we can remove any impediments. We are ready to forgive some sins. <laughs> Let me put it that way. The government had previously earmarked 26 companies for privatization, including the lucrative Kenya Ports Authority and Kenya Pipeline, alongside loss-making lenders collapsed sugar millers and state hotels that have been run down over the years. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.